Joanna has a question here. I know there are surely big differences between penning up animals in the way Jeff is talking about in 10.62, grasslands and range management, and penning animals in the way factory farms do it. And only so much can be covered in one short video. But I think I need those differences explained a bit more. Specifically, why would you want to pen up animals at all? Even at a smaller scale, these factory farming methods are still inappropriate, aren't they? Well, there's a difference between a pen and a factory. <laughs> I'm in a pen right here. This is a dairy pen and I pen up animals in here. Um, I put um, calves in the dairy overnight so they don't milk their mothers, so I can milk their mothers in the morning. Uh, the yard on the outside, um, I pen the mothers in at night so they're near the baby calves when the calves are young. I don't bother when they're older. And I collect the manure. It, it makes it convenient to collect the manure and it's quite okay to pen them up over, overnight. They're, they're quite happy. I can bring in forage crop. I can't allow the animals to go into the food forest so much, especially when it's young, but I can bring the forage to the animals. So I do that and they love coming in here. Uh, they queue up to come in here. I have multiple pens around my um, laneway where I pen the animals overnight and I bring in forage but that allows me to collect the manure in one place. And that manure then goes to compost, goes to worm farms and goes under gardens and food forests and starts to be the engine of fertility that runs the organic farm. So there are multiple reasons that you pen up animals in a, in a, in a pen that they love. And it's not a factory pen, it's a design pen. It, it, it can be a survival pen where there's not enough food out there um, out on a range, but you've got forage growing, you've got survival forage growing, and you bring the animals in, you provide them with water, you provide them with mineral blocks, you allow them to rest so they don't, no, not using a lot of energy, and you bring them multiple forages to keep them nice and healthy. It might just be your breed stock. If you're having an extreme drought, you're collecting the manure, and you're making compost out of the manure, you're growing more forage to keep the animals alive while you get over a serious drought. Um, there can be systems where an area is overgrazed, incredibly overgrazed, and traditionally it's just built up and built up and the whole landscape's degrading and it's falling apart. It's going backwards. It has no ecosystem services left. Um, and you need to remove all the animals off the landscape and bring it back into um, a treed landscape with forage and rangeland between forest belts. But in the meantime, you've got to take the animals off while the forest matures. So you take the animals off, you feed forage to the animals, you easily gather their manure, you grow, you, with that you make organic fertilizer in the forms of compost and compost teas and biofertilizers. And with that, you speed up the reforest in the landscape. And in the end, you can take the animals back out into the rangeland on long, slow cycles that actually improve ecosystem functions, improve the forest edges by design, by design, always by design. So the pens are designed. Now, in some, some landscapes, um, if some animals won't easily design into a landscape without damaging shallow soils like the wet tropics, but they can live in a pen very, very easily and still go out onto some areas. They can go out and get a bit of freedom, of course, and get outside, but you feed them inside a pen and all the nutrient from the animals runs off by design into forage crop that then feeds the animals. So you're, you've got a trickle down directed nutrient from the animals towards a very, very diverse forage crop, which gives you a very, very diverse pick and feed pen right, that gives you that production. And also the animals can have another area or two they can walk out through and they're not always in a pen. It, it's, it's not factory farming at all. It is direction of forage to animals and manure to crops and manure to environmental rehabilitation through design. And um, it works, works wonderfully well. So that's the difference.